the tragedy of abortion. Tragically, in the UK, laws still persist, permit abortion on demand for any reason to 24 weeks, even though medical advances show that unborn babies can survive at 21 and 22 weeks. It's double that of our European neighbours. In America, Gallup polls have repeatedly found that most Americans do not support abortion on demand after the 12 weeks. And a recent poll found that 69% of American women believe that there should be significant restrictions on abortion. In the US, with the demise of Roe and Wade, 22 states are said to be ready to introduce restrictions that will protect unborn children from abortion. Some wrongly say the ruling violates human rights. But abortion is not, and has never has been, deemed a human right in any international law. All the other rights are worthless without that paramount right to life and are contingent on it. We now live in a world, of course, where a child's baby album begins with an ultrasound photo of that child developing in the womb. Sometimes you see them on the locker beside the woman who is expecting the baby, a photograph of her baby in the womb. We know that the baby's heartbeat is present from 22 days after fertilization, that's after conception. Spontaneous movement begins from six to seven weeks. Now at eight weeks, the baby has fingers, toes, a working digestive system, and 90% of his or her body parts have been formed. At 10 weeks, the baby's heart has already beat over 10 million times. Now, to not even consider renewing abortion laws in the light of this scientific data, that would be perverse. A baby with disability, everything from cleft palate to Down syndrome, can be aborted up to and even during birth. Not just barbaric, but this is eugenics too. There is a clear disconnect between UK public opinion, where 70% of women think abortion time limits should be reduced and much of the political establishment which pretends this issue is long since settled. Since 1967, almost 10 million unborn lives have been lost in the UK. Perhaps Americans of the future will look back on the half century or so when over 62 million unborn babies were aborted and wonder why and how it took so long to change this tragic decision. Hopefully, in time, the UK will follow suit and change laws which have needlessly taken so many unborn lives. Just like with slavery, generations of the future will look back at our generation and stand aghast as to how we were complicit in allowing millions of babies to be aborted legally. Some years ago, Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta said, abortion is the greatest destroyer of world peace because it destroys two lives, she said, the life of the child and the conscience of the mother. Let us thank our parents for wanting us, for loving us, and for giving us the precious gift of life. Thank you now for listening, and God bless you all.